Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a lesson on something called dilations. Um, a dilation is a, is a type of um, transformation. Um, so far you've learned about translations and reflections and rotations. Um, a di dilation is just another form of a transformation. Okay. So take notes on the first few pages and then there'll be some problems for you to try. And then at the end you can see how you did. All right. So take a look at this image here of, of the two cats. Um, here we have a original image, and then we have a dilated image. Now, if you notice, this cat is the same as this cat. So this one is just a larger version of, of this one, okay? So a dilation is, is an image that is the same shape as the original. So for here, write down, please, same shape as original. All right, and you're gonna hear about something called a scale factor. All right, a scale factor could be, for example, twice as big or half as big or say 10 times as large as the original. All right, so if you look at the next page, it says graph the image of the triangle ABC after dilation with the scale factor of three centered at the origin. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to locate the locate the uh, the coordinates of A, B, and C. So point A is at three and three. Point B is at negative three and one. And point C is at negative three and positive three. All right, so here we're gonna uh, create a dilation with a scale factor of three. So what you do is you multiply each one of these x and y values by three. So three times three is nine, and then three times this three is nine. Negative three times three is negative nine. One times three is three. And this one's going to be negative 9, and then positive 9, okay? So now let me choose a different color here, and let's plot these points. So 9 and 9 is going to be right here. That's going to be A prime. Negative 9 and 3 is going to be... Last but not least, we have negative 9 and 9, which is up here. All right. And again, this one here is B prime. This one here is C prime. Now, when I connect them, if you notice, it's the same shape as the original. the rectangle PQRS after a dilation with a scale factor of 1 4. All right. So because the scale factor is under 1, the image is going to get smaller. All right. So let's first list the coordinates of the original. So P is 0 and negative 4. Q is 8 and negative 4. R is 8 and negative 8, and S is 0 and negative 8. All right, now to get a dilated image with a scale factor of 1 fourth, okay, we're going to multiply every one of these points or locations by a fourth. So 0 times a fourth is 0, but then 1 fourth times negative 4 that will be negative one. Okay, let me show you down here how I got that. All right, if I do one fourth times negative four, when in doubt, multiply across. So one times negative four is negative four. Four times one is four, and that reduces down to negative one. All right, 
So here, if I do eight times a fourth, that's gonna give me two. And negative four times a fourth is negative one. Uh, eight times a fourth is two. Negative eight times a fourth is negative two. Uh, anything times zero, of course, is zero. And then this is gonna be negative two, all right? So let me use a different color here. I'll go with uh, green, all right? So when I plot these new points, zero, negative one is gonna be right about here. And that's gonna be P prime. Um, Q prime is two, negative one, which is right here. That's Q prime. R prime is two and negative two, which is right here. So that's gonna be R prime. And then finally, S prime is zero, negative two, which is gonna be right here. So this little rectangle is the original image dilated at a scale of one fourth. All right, so I want you to pause the video and try the next problem, and then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. Good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with this uh, dilation problem. So here we have a rectangle, K, L, M, and N, and you had to redraw it with a dilation with a scale factor of two, all right? So first step was list the, the points of the original, okay? So point K is at negative four and four. Point L is at four and four. Point M is at four and negative four. And point N is at negative four and negative four. All right, so to get a scale factor of two, we're gonna multiply every one of these points by two, okay? So I'll use a different color here. So K prime is gonna be negative eight and eight. L prime is gonna be eight and eight. M prime is going to be 8 and negative 8. And then N prime is going to be negative 8 and negative 8. All right. Now, again, when I'm done, the shape I'm going to plot should be the same shape as the original, but just a different size. All right. So negative 8 and 8 is going to be K prime. So negative 8 and 8. That's going to be K prime. L prime is at 8 and 8. So that's L prime. M prime is eight and negative eight. That's M prime. And then N prime is negative eight and negative eight. Now I'm gonna connect the dots. And just like the original, it makes a rectangle. And there it is. All right, how'd you do?